Hey guys, it's Demon BK, and today I'm going to bring you some Black Ops 2 on the PC. The gameplay you're going to watch here is a triple swarm nuclear on the map Nuketown using the MSMC, and it's also a hundred plus. It's quite a selfish gameplay, and you probably think it's selfish. Explain yourself, Damon. Well, I usually play the game mode, whatever I'm playing as a team. I'm all about the win, but in this game, I just thought I'm going to play for my streaks. I'm going to be quite selfish. The game before, I realised that the opponents were quite weak, so I thought, why not? Let's exploit this like any <laughs> casual Call of Duty player would. This exploit it and see if we can get higher kill gameplay and that's what happened here I don't usually play like this I'm not always very selfish I play for my streaks and I play for the win but in this game I was all about just playing for my streaks because I just wanted to get a nuclear I just wanted to get some high kill streaks I'm usually getting told off by party members and stuff look stop capping their spawn flag stop flipping them and I'm all about them 200 points usually so in this game it was quite weird for me to play like this I had a lot of fun just playing for streaks uh, just Killing people as they run into flags and stuff does get a bit mundane, and I couldn't do this every day. I'm not all about that at all, but I like going for streaks, and yeah, this is one of the games that really panned out well. So I was going through some news articles this week, and I saw one about the Halo 5 Guardians DLC. And if you haven't heard already, all the DLC for this game is going to be completely free of charge, and this really excites me. The way they're going to go about it is all the DLC maps are going to be free, but you can actually opt in and buy microtransaction customizable things here and there, so like skins essentially from CS go and I'm excited to see how this pans out I'm not a Halo fan I won't be buying this game I don't own an Xbox in the first place but I'm excited to see how this sort of sets a trend is this going to be a trendsetter are other developers and publishers sort of going to take the same route because they're going to see how well this does and I really hope Halo 5 is a big game I really hope this pulls in a lot of people and does well because if it does other developers and stuff are sort of going to have to evaluate the way they do their DLC offerings and shift and change things up a bit so we all love DLC maps, I love them and I cannot wait for new maps to come out on my favourite game but the issue with DLC is it really fragments the community and not just on Call of Duty, I've been playing Battlefield 4 lately and I have to say finding a DLC map on that is no bueno, it is such a hard time. Pretty much the only DLC maps I can find are all TDM game modes and it's just friggin awful. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 suffers from this really bad. If you own the DLC, I urge you to give it a go and jump in there and see if you can find a domination game that is a DLC map. You won't be able to find one and what usually happens with Black Ops 2 is it puts you into a lobby by yourself. That's a DLC map and no one will connect to you. My biggest tip for Call of Duty on PC regarding DLC is you either buy all the DLC or you don't buy none and I've seen a lot of people out there in the forums and stuff on Steam saying look I've bought a DLC map pack here and I cannot find a game. Well, it's because you've bought map pack 3. You have to buy them all or just none. What happens with Call of Duty is it really struggles to sort of partner you up and I, I really think if everyone had this DLC we would have a better time for it because it's really infuriating knowing that I've paid nearly 60 quid for all my DLCs on Black Ops 2 just to not being able to use it that is so so annoying and to be honest they sort of done a good thing with Advanced Warfare and that was sort of giving you free DLC bits here and there like free weapons I know we all sort of hate the variants now but if you actually think about it they're giving away stuff for free I know you have to go through advanced supply drops to sort of get your hands on some of these but you can get them in your supply drops and I think that's quite cool they're keeping the game fresh but I just think they should have gone the extra step with Advanced Warfare do I think Black Ops 3 will have this sort of system? no hopefully Infinity Ward's next game would and I think that is something that would really sort of save the Infinity Ward game uh, because we're all going to judge that game really harshly after what they've done with Call of Duty Ghosts so for you guys that are thinking they would never do this they're all about the money I get it they are all about the money they're a business but for you guys that didn't know this COD 4 and World of War on PC actually came with the DLC completely free of charge and you guys on the console actually had to buy it which was a complete rip didn't make any sense whatsoever but I suppose that was the last time that Call of Duty was really a true PC game if you could call it that it was the last time that it felt like a decent PC port so like every game out there, Titanfall came out and it had DLC pack offerings. Something they done a little bit different was after the game's life cycle, they gave all the DLC away for completely free. And that's a great move. Admittedly, if you bought into the DLC, you're probably a bit pissed that you've bought it because it's free to everyone. But at least you get to play the maps that you've bought into. I would love to see this sort of system come over to other AAA games, especially Call of Duty and Battlefield. Admittedly, I would like a system where maybe I could buy into the DLC to get it early. I wouldn't want to 
pay $15 per DLC package then. I'd like to pay maybe a fiver to get maybe seven months exclusivity or something like that. And then all the DLC would be free to everyone else. I think that sort of system would be great. And to be honest, the DLC is already made. It's not like they're losing out money because they've already put the time and effort into developing those map packs themselves. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.